Uh, it's <clears throat> four o'clock in the afternoon and I'm just setting out. I've been sitting around all bloody day playing that stupid game because there's a stupid event on. Uh, trying to get myself up in the rankings and I just totally forgot about the stuff I need to do today. So, with a great big effort, <laughs> I've got out of my bed, <laughs> got out of the shack, uh, got some gear together <clears throat> and uh, I'm heading out. <clears throat> I need uh, to gather, well, find some more bricks and uh, find some wood, get some wood. So I've got my, got bits and pieces. Oh my God, I feel knackered. God, this is what happens when you sit in bed all day long, doing sort all. So I'm just gonna do a quick round, that's all up to the top of the hill and along because I know they're doing some building work up at the top there on some of the houses up there so I might be able to find a couple of bricks or so and uh, and head on down to the to the wooded areas and uh, uh, fill up with some wood uh, we need to stock up quite a lot so yeah I'm just going to Pitch around today. It's been really overcast. Sun's been trying very hard to come out. Uh, and it's just been one of those days where you just don't really want to do anything. And uh, oh god, just walking up this little hill this, and I've got a bigger hill to go oh, up in a minute. Uh, it's just a. Uh, Thoroughly draining. Yeah, but we'll see. And uh, yeah, well, we've all got to be entertained. I've cancelled my Netflix uh, subscription because it's just a waste of money, really. Especially when you're out and about. Uh, there's not really much you can do. Yeah, it eats up your data. And you need that to play your game. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we need some sort of entertainment, don't we, in life? Without some sort of diversion, take our mind off of other stuff. Uh, we all we find it in nature, don't we, as well? Animals find ways to amuse themselves, don't they? So. Yeah, I'm just going for a just get away from that now and uh, just hunt around for stuff. Don't want to be too obvious though, and that's the other thing. I was just thinking of this here. They got a, a water box here. They got a water box here uh, for the horses. I was just thinking to myself, I wonder if there's a way I can tap into it. <laughs> nah. Run a tube, yeah, all the way down if I can. <laughs> have, have, have water on tap, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I was planning to go off and do some work on some other camps today, but... Oh, they're just being lazy, it's just... Uh, not good enough. Anyway, it's all, unless I find something interesting to, to view, uh, maybe catch it tomorrow. Take it easy, guys. All right. Uh, afternoon, you guys. I was going to, as I keep saying to myself, I'm going to check uh, a couple of fly tips out. Uh, here they are. Alright, basically, 
There we go. Someone's dumped, apart from all the plastic and everything else. Uh, what's this? A jacket or something. There you go. Ah, here, look at this. Oh, look. Backpacks. Yeah. I'm going to see what I can salvage of that clothing. There are loads of clothing. And what else have we got here? Boots. Sports bra. Yeah. Right. Couple of bags. Excellent. See, some of this stuff here is useful, you know? These straps are useful. Yeah. I think most of it's not going to be useful though. <laughs> yeah. Right, well I'm going to see what I can salvage. Uh, and have another look around this area. Alright. Again, another big tip over there. Anyway, catch you later guys. Alright, hi guys. Mm. Quarter to seven. Just had a little walk around, managed to pick up a few bricks, didn't really get much wood. I was really walking around, just around the area. Um, you know, I have a little pet hate about the cyclists, because it's a cycle 21 and cycle routes and all that. Whizzing around and everything else, and, and they're a pain. I mean, I don't understand. I, Kids on quad bikes going down these roads. They, they shouldn't be allowed. You know, I, th I think that's um, an extremely um, irresponsible thing to do. Um, because there's people, their kids out hiking. Not that I've seen that many. <laughs> uh, but there are definitely older people with their dogs. Uh, some lovely conversations that we bump into him with an old guy that. Uh, there's a couple, uh, quite a few Yorkshire Terriers, I think, or something like that. Horrible yappy ones, anyway. Uh, some of the uh, the people you meet along who live along this, these 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 roads, they're very nice people, and they don't deserve to have morons buzzing down their little lanes and everything else with um, quad bikes. Oh, cyclists, <laughs> road hogs, I call them, you know. Uh, but uh, yeah, they, something should. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think the entrances to some of these um, bridleways they should be uh, posted up a little bit better. Uh, but there's, there's always a way for someone to to get through. But yeah, yeah, it's it's just one of those things. I found that little fly tip site along the M25 you know, where I was talking about and I think I mentioned it earlier in another earlier video but uh, I managed to salvage these buckles now they're, they're good buckles you know and all you need to distract you know, some camping shops they're selling them like four quid four quid for that for one set <laughs> Lots of little buckles, some extra straps that I can, you know, you could you could use them for um, stuff around camps and everything else, or for making repairs and all that. They're, it's all very useful. I mean, what's that old saying? Um, one man's rubbish is another man's treasure, isn't it? So, yeah. Anyway, 
as I say, another lazy day. And I, I wanted to get down to Red Hill to, 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 to build up the camp over there again. Why am I being so lazy? It's that stupid game I'm playing, number one. <laughs> the weather? It's been humid, overcast, but shouldn't really have stopped me from getting up and going out, doing stuff. Is it one of those funny days, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I generally wasn't feeling too well this morning. Uh, anyway, tomorrow I've got to get up, go to town, do my bits, post some of these videos and everything else. And I will fix up that camp in Red Hill. It's on an industrial site. And I don't think they're going to do anything on the industrial site for years to come, you know? And uh, so, yeah, why not make use of it? I mean, the, the, the actual industrial buildings are being used by idiot kids at parties. Uh, people have their drone flights, graffiti artists, climbing clubs. There's a climbing club that goes down there. It's quite interesting. Why not? I mean, it, it's a, an imposing structure, and they're doing it responsibly. Um, yeah, why not? Why not open it up? Uh, but... Uh, it's like, you know, there's a lot of land that's, there's lots of land that's not being used. But, you know, as soon as you slap nature reserve on it and blah, 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 people can't enjoy it. And again, I'm, I'm talking about responsible people. You know, you, you, I, I walk into the woods sometimes and, and people have their, you know, camps and all that and leave their crap around. That's another pet hay I have. It's, what's this, you're supposed to pick up your dog poo? What is the point of picking up your dog poo in a plastic bag and then just throwing the plastic bag? It's not, you might as well leave the dog poo, it's going to rot away quicker than it is in, and then if you leave it in the plastic bag. That's, that's a, you're supposed to take it away with you, aren't you? Which also reminds me, why don't uh, uh, horse riders <laughs> pick up the, I mean they used to do, in, uh, but that was city, if you, if a horse pooed in the back of their cart, then the driver had to clear it all up, didn't they? <laughs> but in the country, you don't, don't really worry about that sort of thing. I, technically, I don't even worry about the dog poo, really, you know? It's annoying in winter. And you, you don't know what you're stepping in, literally. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, it's... Yeah, quad bikes and, and bridleways, they should not allow them, you know? I think I think it, I think it's all right and fair. Uh, hikers, pedestrians, people out just stop those people and, and burn the bike. <laughs> well, anyway, like I said, I've had a pretty lazy day today. Um, I'm I met a nice young lady talking about her. Uh, she, Getting her brambles out, she had some lovely trees in the front of her uh, of her house, and um, yeah, we have a nice. It's, it's nice when you do go out, and this is the one thing I've noticed in the city. Nobody, you say hello to somebody, and they think you're weird. They think you, you what's wrong with him? What's he after? What's, it, what's going on? You know, yeah, out in the country, you can bump into say hi, good evening, yeah. You have common courtesy, you have manners, you have you can have conversations with people. And that's again, like I said, it's something that would I used to get into trouble at work for having conversations with people. I used to write little high cues to stimulate conversation. Um, we we've lost the art of conversation, haven't we? I mean it's 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 it. if, if, if we're not playing games or we're not engrossed in Kardashians or Emmerdale. Is that still going? I, I, I very rarely watch TV anymore. Um, I've even cancelled my Netflix. <laughs> Eat up my data, data bandwidth for, for, for what? It's a load of rubbish. Um, yeah, I mean, we've lost the art of conversation. It's... it's it's all well and good to have a, you're going around to a party, social gathering or anything else like that, but no, 
it's, it's still all about the me, 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 me society and everything else, and everyone else is more important. Uh, nobody else is uh, more important than I am, and blah, 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 blah. Oh, dear. You know, I went through my depre I mean, depressing stage. I mean, I, I suffer from it Something sometimes. It's like terrible. Well, again, talking about depression. You know, some of the outwardly happiest people, you know, are perhaps some of the saddest. So I, I remember seeing another, a, a great meme, um, Robin Williams. He made so many people happy, so many people laugh. He was an unhappy man. Just Stephen Fry is the same. Funny people, funny people. Sometimes the funniest people in the world are perhaps the saddest. This is why depression is often misdiagnosed or, or missed. Or, I mean, but he was such a happy person, right until he jumped. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, call me a pessimist or a cynic. Or, yeah, most people do. <laughs> Uh, you look into the, sometimes you look into the darkness, you can't see the light, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter if there's a lighthouse shining, you can't see it, and uh, so you stumble around, you bump your head, you, you, you stub your toes, and sometimes you've got to laugh at the situation, you know, it's that laughter of, Just a, a brief release mechanism. Because if you don't laugh, serious things could happen. Uh, anyway. Again, quad bikes, really annoying, especially on bridleways, public footpaths, shouldn't be allowed. And uh, where was it? It's coming out of oh yeah, coming out coming out from outward into Bletchingley one day. And I was going to some of the footpaths in there. But again, kids make, I love the fact that kids go out into the woods, make camps. But they trash them and they leave so much mess. I mean, and they, I found a camp there and it was broken down motorcycles. I mean, it was just a mess. It should be, we should be, they, again, I, two minds about this. Kids should go out in the woods, but they should be doing it more responsibly. They should join the scouts or something else and learn how to do it properly. Oh dear. Okay, look. 11 minutes. I'm boring you. Um, found some buckles. It's going to be useful. And uh, <coughs> I'll repair some of my backpacks. And tomorrow I'm going to definitely go down to Red Hill Keep the location away. Uh, Red Hill and uh, build that camp up. It's a, it's a great stopping space as well. Um, and I still want to, I've got to get down to the other campsites and start and complete some of those um, camps. So you have a little network of little places to go to, to, to rest up, spend the night. Shelters as well, you know, you never know. You never know what will happen to you. You could be out for a walk and you could suddenly realise, oh my gosh, you know, pouring down with rain. Oh, it's a shelter nearby. You know, so, anyway, just those stupid little things. I'm going to stop worrying you from now on. I shall catch you later on, guys. Take care now.